Hi, I'm Chris Berry and I'd like to take you on a three minute vacation to the English Lake District. I've lived in England all my life, but 25 years ago my family and myself moved to the Lake District because I had a job as a National Park Ranger. But for the six, last six years I've worked for Country Walkers and that's great because I can share my enthusiasm for this great wonderful place that we have here with people from all over the world. Listen to the cockerel in the background. Now with Colleen, my wife, has set me a task and that is to build a dry stone wall to keep those chickens out of her vegetable garden. And I thought I'd show you how we do it today. So what you do for a dry stone wall, you need to dig the foundations and get some big stones in the bottom so you've got a flat surface to work on. Then you need to bring stones up, two lines or leaves of stones gradually tapering to the top because that's what holds the stones together it's the weight there's no mortar or cement in there that's why it's called a dry stone wall so tapering to the top and then with heavy stones on the top so what do we do first of all we need some stones and I've got some stones carefully prepared behind here here we have a stone and you've got flat surfaces and that flat surface has to be pointing to the outside and you've got to cover the cracks up in the wall so you place the stone on you don't throw it on and you place them and it covers the crack now very importantly then you use harder stones small stones which fill the middle of the wall and they're used to chock the stones up and get them nice and level so that's in place and nice and level Another important factor are through stones, which are large stones, which join the two lines of stones together. Let's find a through stone. Here we go. Here's a through stone, long enough to go from each side of the wall to the other. And we place that on just in place like that. Use some small harder stones to chock it into place. A through stone in place. Then to finish off, you need a coping stones, which are big heavy stones on the top to weight everything down. Here we go. On to the top. There's your coping stone in place. It's like doing a jigsaw puzzle. You just mind clear everything. All you think about is getting those stones into place. So thanks for joining me. I hope you'll be coming to the Lake District soon and I'll be able to show you all about the dry stone walls and lots of the interesting things in the Lake District. Bye bye.